Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'm going to install a motor saver. This is a model 455 on a pump motor that I just had to replace. And um, you get a lot of uh, voltage unbalance, outages, drop legs at this site. So uh, I'm hoping this will help protect that motor. Um, can I find some real estate in that? starter control box. Uh, I think I can move what controls are in there around and uh, shove this thing in there. So let's see if we can make this better. Alright, for starters, we're going to stop the chiller that that pump is running on. All right, so our pumps are finally off. Shut this off too. Power it off. All right, let's go home. So no voltage. Controls have nothing. Let's see if this little nothing on the cube really. This delay. I don't even know what that's in there for. I think that was an older setup, so probably omit that. But I'm thinking of moving all this down and put that motor saver right up there. Yeah, we're gonna make that go away. So it basically crumbled in my hands trying to take it up off and move it so I don't honestly don't think it was doing anything. Yeah, hey, you can see that. Ain't doing nothing now. So we're going to just uh, that was just going to be overload. Normally closed circuit so it's gonna run off the common here from the low voltage uh, transformer control circuit. Right there. All right, just like that. It's one less thing to deal with in here. So I'm gonna drop this cube relay down somewhere in here. And let me get the motor saver. How much room do we need here? Get away. Room. All right, fits in there snugly. Cube relays moved, so now we're just going to run our line voltage to the line voltage side, and then I will also wire up the the load side and then break our control circuit through the normally open. We'll uh, tinker with the settings. All right, so I've got this uh, wired up on the line side to L1, 2, and 3. Uh, load side, also load 1, 2, and 3. And uh, I'm parking on the tape now, but this may be, so there's a 50 50 chance that you got it right, so whatever. So a voltage adjustment, I'm going to set this up to our 480. I think they're roughly like 479-ish, somewhere in there. Um, unbalanced trip. This factory comes, or comes back to set at 6%. I worked out the numbers, I mean, it basically have like 1% on balance right here now, but uh, they said no more than 5% on the instructions, so I'm going to lower it down to like 3%. Trip delay, I'll leave that alone for now, and reset.
start seconds, I'm gonna leave that alone. So put some power to it and uh, we'll see what lights up and what doesn't. And currently we've got the HOA to off. So let's see what it looks like here, just powering it up. how it behaves. Uh, all right, looks like this is going to help protect my motor. Um, can't really fit anything else in here. All I received was a little resistance from uh, trying to put a fuse disconnect in here. Whatever. All right, well, that's uh, wiring up a motor saver for a, uh, this was the 40 horse pump motor that we changed. I can attach a link to info on that motor saver. It's a model 455. I think Little Fuse makes these things, a bunch of different companies. But I've used them before, they work pretty good. Um, I mean, they do fail over time, but it does save the motor. Water temp, 52, 53. I had all three chillers shut down. Pretty cool out this morning. So I did notice uh, an alarm on number three, so I gotta go check that out. I think it was just like low refrigerant temp or something like that. Low evaporator refrigerant temp.
back on. I also forgot to point out, I wired the uh, normally open circuit to the common off of that transformer. And this runs back over. Thank you, number three. All right, that runs back over to the normally closed overload contacts. And then that goes back up to the coil. Back in there. So that's basically where the wires were going to that time delay that was in here before, which was doing zero, zero. Alright, and number two is back on. See our condenser water temps. Pretty cool this morning. It's in the 50s here. 